Hi Giuseppe, I'm going to try to show you the UDesign template and how you can really take control over it and uh, get it to do what you want. As you can see, I've been playing around with it and um, I think I'm going to go over most of the options in the UDesign template and anything that you can't, anything that I don't show you here, you'll be able to find out with the theme documentation. So this is really going to give you a head start on uh, knowing the theme and really taking control of it and getting it exactly how you want it. So the first thing you do is go into the back end. The first thing I want to do is show you how to change this image and how to edit an image. So let's go to the back end. Uh, before that, just notice that this picture is very wide so when taking pictures for your uh, ovens just make sure you're a little zoomed out so that you can make it a wide picture because if not it'll look all smashed on the image I hope that makes sense so let's get started let's go into the back end and the first thing we want to do is upload some a picture so just go to media add new and we'll select files and let's see we'll just pick a random file here that looks fine and we wait for it to upload And once it's uploaded, we want to click Edit Image because this is way too big for uh, the slider here. So that width is 2048. It always goes width, then height. But this width is only 914 pixels, and the height is 374. That's just something you're going to have to memorize, 914, 374. So the first thing we want to do is click Edit Image. And now we want to scale the image. So the width is always first. So let's put in 914 and let's scale it. Now we can see that the width is 914 now, but the height is still too big. So what we want to do is we want to select the portions that we want and put in 374 in here. and get a nice cropping of it and then click this button it's a crop button and click save image now we have the image the perfect width and height 914 by 374 and now we can just copy this and go to our U design and scroll way down to our slideshow section and click add slide. Now that we've done that, we can put the paste our the URL of the slide that we just copied. And we could link it to a page if we want to, but I'm not going to do that now, but just know that you can do that and click save changes. Now, hopefully if we go here and we re refresh we can see that there's another image. So that looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, that is that. And um, now we're going to learn how to develop the rest of this homepage. So let's get to it. Under Appearance, if we go to Widgets, we can control all of the home page. So these are the different columns of the home page, and this is uh, the bottom area, but this is mainly what it is right here. So if we go to the UDesign documentation, we can see that all the areas of the home page, 
and where they are. And that corresponds with these right here. So let me just give you an idea of uh, what we can change and what we can do. So let's say we want um, home page column 4. What you're going to want to do first is open it up like this. So it's open. And then take the Black Studio Tiny MCE and drag it down and put it right in there. Now this is a different plugin that allows you to visually uh, change what's in this widget area. Most of the time you have to hard code it in HTML, but uh, not everyone knows HTML. So I'm just going to say, hey, this is the area it is in. And we can copy and paste that, and maybe we'll make this. Whoops. Maybe we'll make this bigger. And we can save it. And now if we click refresh, we can see that we have another column here. It doesn't look good because it's not the same height as all of these other ones, but you get the point. So you can control the whole front of the page by um, just messing with these widgets. There's different areas. So um, on the home page here, we can, you know, change all the messages and everything and it goes nicely into different columns and uh, you could put images in it and make it look really nice like they did on their main site okay so that is the front page of it I hope that was clear so that's a front page um, Next, let's talk about the general options of the store. So if we go to UDesign here, we can see that uh, you can upload your logo. So that's right, right here, so it doesn't say UDesign. And you can change all the options. You could change the slogan font size. Whoops, I'm getting called. Okay. You could change all these uh, front page options and the breadcrumbs, and you could look into the documentation. I don't want to bore you, uh, but you can use a custom font here if you want. You can change some colors. Uh, keep the slider the same at cycle one because we don't want to use flash. Some of these are flash sliders, but you can change how fast the animation goes and everything. You can add a slide by doing that. I showed you how to do that. Um, and then we did portfolio section. I'll show you that in a little while. And um, there is a contact section. So this is for the contact page. It's a custom page. So you can put all in your contact information. And you can put in a Google map also. So there's a contact information here. And in the theme documentation, it shows you how to change the Google map. So just check that out when you have time. Um, so if we change it here, it will reflect by changing there. So up in the contact. All right, that's pretty much the general options. There's a few more things, but that's pretty much it. Um, let me show you how to add a page and rearrange it. So let's go to pages. Let's add new page. This is a new page. Well, let's put new page. And we can publish it. But before we see it on our website here, the new page on our uh, navigation, what we first have to do is go to under appearance go to menus and I like setting it up like this because then you can just move things around and switch the order or have a sub menu by indenting it like that so we just click new page and add new page 
and we can click Save Menu, and now we can see that if we refresh it, it'll have the new page. Once we're on the new page, we can see that there's a sidebar here, but what if we don't want that? So we can click Edit, and instead of the default template, we can choose a full width template or any of these different templates. Uh, sometimes, uh, like the contact page, um, it won't show any of your content right here because that's that's for all the contact information. So um, we'll just do full with template and press update. And press view page. And now we see that there is no sidebar. It's just full width. So that's helpful. All right. Um, the next thing I want to show you is... Um, well, I don't know if you caught that, but for the menus, we can rearrange it easily so that the contact is in the middle and press Save Menu. And we can see that the contact is now in the middle. So that's helpful. Okay, what is next? All right, so just one last thing, and that is the portfolio. So maybe you can have all your brick ovens uh, displayed nicely in a portfolio that looks like kind of like this. So maybe these can be, and then they can click on it, and it can come up. Um, so I thought maybe you'd want that, and you'd want to know how to do it. So. Let's check it out how to do it. All you have to do is go to post and add new. Then once you're there, you can just give it a title. And now we can just add an image right here. And press show. Then click use as featured image. And then we can exit this and press publish. I missed a step actually. We had to click uncategorized and then click update or publish. Now once we go to the portfolio we can refresh and we can see that the new picture which is pretty big uh, comes up and we can see the different pictures which would be your different ovens I think it would be cool to have you know uh, pictures really nice pictures of all your ovens and the more you add they'll just continue and extend this page and make it bigger and bigger so if you have any questions uh, just let me know if I was confusing let me know I will uh, redo it or just answer your questions and uh, yeah I hope it helps thanks a lot